be so good to actually see Claire watching me because she's in every single other show besides one that I'm in. And it's like, you know, ha ha, I got the one that you didn't get. <laughs> I can't believe the same girl we're seeing today on the runway for Anna and Boy is that same girl that said fuck at the end of the runway. It just seems like a completely different girl. Cassie has come leaps and bounds. I'm so proud of her. I'm so, so proud of Cassie. This is absolutely the tightest top three, I think, that has ever happened in a series of Australia's Next Top Model. Um, or I'm just to make it work. I'm really proud of Cassie. She's obviously worked hard. She actually has practiced instead of lying to us like she has in the past, where she hasn't actually practiced at all. This time I think she really has practiced and she's taken on board all of our advice. She doesn't stand out as, as having this awkward walk that she had before. She fits in. She looks great. She's got that Kate Moss edge. She's slightly demented and slightly dangerous. And it's a really, really good look and it really works for me. My opinion is that the girls performed beautifully this year at Fashion Week. It's tough to say who, who rose and who fell because I feel like they're all kind of even. Um, yeah, it, it's, re it's really tough to know who dominated Fashion Week this year. Girls, you were fierce. That was amazing. Very that was fierce all down amazing. that catwalk. Very good. Wow. Yes. Was that exciting? How did you yeah. feel?